Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Nicki Minaj because I am hearing that Little Kim has a few songs taking shots at Nicki Minaj. Now, it's not because she necessarily has beef with Nicki still because it's just been years since anything really has happened. But it's because she wants to do the whole back and forth thing with Nicki Minaj, like what happened back in 2010, where they were kind of going back and forth on records. Okay, so she wants to kind of do the same thing. Um, and that will kind of help with her promotion for her next era. That's why she's trying to attach herself to Nicki Minaj and trying to do the verses because she knows that when, you know, she mentions Nicki Minaj, here comes the clout. Here comes the barbs talking about her. Okay. And let's remember, she has a book coming out. And I'm pretty sure even if she changes the names, she's going to be talking about Nicki Minaj in this book. Okay. And how Nicki Minaj had this big machine and that forced her out the game because, you know, that's the narrative little Kim fans push, okay? They think it's the same thing as Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, and it's really not. Little Kim wasn't popping even before Nicki got into the game. That's just the honest truth. But anyway, so, you know, that's the reason why she's going to be taking, you know, certain shots at Nicki Minaj. Now, I don't know who's going to be on these records, but I did hear that she has a few records taking shots. And then I also heard that Nick Cannon has promised her, Nick Cannon has promised her to, you know, he's going to push and have her have the best era. Okay. Um, and that's also the reason why Rolling Ray was tweeting how Lil' Kim is going to have the best album of 2022 because he don't like Nicki Minaj, okay? But there's multiple songs, not just one. Um, do I feel like it's going to make her chart even higher? Not really, okay? You know, if she's taking shots at Nicki, that just means the barbs won't buy it. I mean, I don't understand what people don't get, like, just because you take shots at Nicki doesn't mean your your um, album is going to do any better. Look at Megan Thee Stallion. So. so if Nicki Minaj does not make up with certain female rappers, you know, they are going to continue to take shots. OK, and I am not going to question Nicki Minaj's pen game, but I hope she's bringing Roman back. OK, Um you know, that's who she really needs to bring back, Chung Lee and Roman, okay? Because Megan the Stallion is still taking shots at Nicki Minaj, and Nicki hasn't even responded to that shit. She took shots in Kitty Cat, okay? That was one of the records that was trending. It didn't chart, but it was trending on social media, and everybody was wondering, who's she talking about? Because she was bragging about them Grammys, them four nominations, how she the shit. The same old thing, okay? Um, because, you know, Nikki said, if you hot, come convince me. So Megan's trying to prove how hot she is. Even though them sales don't add up, okay? I'm looking at them sales. Them sales telling me otherwise. But that's just how the game goes. OK, now I don't want the next era for Nicki Minaj to be messy. So I would prefer if she really wasn't going back and forth with anybody. But that might be something she has to do, because if she don't take shots and they're taking shots at her, then people are going to say, oh, Nicki Minaj is scared. I even had somebody comment like maybe a few videos ago saying, how comes Nicki was scared of Remy Ma? And Nicki Minaj is not scared of Remy Ma. Look at Remy Ma's career. Okay? Remy Ma's career is done. Is gone. Nobody cares about Remy Ma. But a lot of people think that Remy Ma hurt Nicki Minaj's career because of Sheether. Even though Remy Ma's career is non-existent. It baffles me. 
So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, if you think Nikki should just ignore it or respond accordingly. I feel like she needs to respond because she can't just have them taking shots at her. Okay, she's the queen. So moving on to Kylie Jenner. I've been hearing that Kylie has been losing some deals behind the scenes. Now, last week, her publicist came out and denied that, you know, she wasn't lo uh, losing money. But that's not what I've been hearing. And W Magazine has been posted on several blogs, has decided to push back Kylie and Travis Scott's cover and interview. Okay? Um, so that says a lot. That means right now certain people are not rocking with, you know, Kylie and Travis Scott until this thing is sorted out. Now, um, a few weeks ago, well, actually two weeks ago, when the incident happened, I did say, watch how the Kardashians move with Travis Scott. Okay, go in my community tab. It's right there. The proof is in the pudding. I did a whole video about how, you know, the Kardashians are going to start acting a little different towards Travis because the Kardashians care about money. As they should. I mean, if you have a billion dollar empire, why wouldn't you? I would be focusing on my money too. Sorry, Travis. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like magazine covers and brand deals should be distancing themselves from Kylie? I mean, she didn't really do anything wrong. Well, you know, I don't think she did. But some people feel like she is still in the wrong. So let me know what you guys think about that. I do find that to be interesting. I know Kylie is probably tight because, you know, one thing about her, she loves a magazine cover. Moving on to Drizzy Drake. It looks like his verse has been removed off of French Montana's album. Okay. And it looks like he wants to remove it. Um, some people are saying it's because of, you know, the Travis Scott incident, Astro Fest. But then others are saying because uh, one of the verses on this record he has with Frank Montana is not appropriate. Okay. Um, allegedly, the lyrics are, smashed a rapper's wife. She's not even my type, but I had to make the sacrifice. Okay. Now, one, I told y'all how Drizzy Drake is a scumbag and how he gets down. Always smashing other people's girls and wives. I've been saying that since last year. Okay. Why Drake continues to do it? I don't know. But a lot of people are alluding this to be about Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Now here's my thing though. Kim Kardashian is definitely Drake's type. That's one. Okay. The fake body, the long hair, that's his type. Okay. Maybe he don't like to date really rich women, but he smashed girls in the industry like J-Lo. Um, didn't he smash Lenny Kravitz's daughter? So that is his type. I don't know what, you know, he's talking about. So if it is about Kim, that's his type. That is definitely his type. Um, but would Kim do that to Kanye West? I feel like if she's feeling a little petty, I don't really put, put anything past Kim Kardashian, only because even at Kim's big age, age, she doesn't really have, you know, a lot of maturity. You can still tell that she cares about being on the blogs, even though she's so successful. It's like she's prancing around town with Pete Davidson and the bags underneath his eyes, knowing damn well she don't want no Pete Davidson. But because she's going to end up on the blogs, that's why she's prancing around town with him. Okay, and I can see right through that. So I feel like she'd be clout chasing. I'm not saying that she smashed um, Drake or not. I'm going to keep my opinion to myself. But I feel like she definitely does clout chasing as type of things. And, you know, she's been in the game a long time and she's still doing it. So I don't really put anything past the Kardashians. But I'm not saying that she did. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.